after a rough and tumble second period. How did you guys uh, get this thing steered home in the third? Um, I mean, obviously, uh, you know, didn't want to take any penalties, give them momentum. Um, we did a great job of that in the third. How we got back to our game of just um, good through the neutral zone, good in our own zone, getting on the four check, uh, recovering pucks back, and. Um, hanging on to it down low. What was that moment like, uh, Austin getting to 50 in his hometown and being part of that? Yeah, it was great. Um, I mean, I think you saw it. I'm just trying to give him a, the whole first three shifts or four shifts we had together, so I'll probably get yelled at for not shooting a couple of those, but um, it's obviously a special player. We're lucky to have him. Um, he's in his hometown. A lot of people here, a lot of family, a lot of loved ones. Um, and he's meant a lot to this city, so to get it here, it's uh, pretty special. Is there anything that you can attribute to the, the chemistry the two of you have built up through the years? Um, I don't know. I mean, we're just great buddies on and off the ice. Um, we're very honest with each other on the ice and off it. Just where we like to be, where we where we want to go with it. Um, and uh, I mean, it helps obviously playing with the guy for the last six years or whatever it's been. So, um, you know, we try to do stuff in the summer together. We try to always maintain contact, and throughout the season, we just try to figure out where each other like to be. And I mean, we uh, we're constantly just working with each other, trying to figure out you know where to be. Eight game point streak for you personally. What's what's been working lately for your game? Um, moving the puck, hanging on to it, um, finding open ice, and you know, just let my skill kind of do its thing. Um, I've been fortunate to find some guys in some good areas, and I'm fortunate enough to just make plays that guys have done some great plays and scored on. So, um, you know, it's always a team effort out there, and five guys, and um, you know, just always credit to them. What does it mean to this team that you guys went five and zero without Morgan in the lineup? Um, yeah, I mean, it's um, it's important. I mean, obviously, we want to get our game back. We want to get moving in the right direction, and. Um, that's a massive part of our team, just not on the ice, but off it. Um, but like I've said multiple times before and years before, we've lost some serious key players and we've had a lot of people step up and play some big minutes and big roles and our D group has done a great job with that. So uh, kudos to them and um, you know they've been playing great under those five games. What do you like the most about the team game during this winning streak? Um, we're not beating ourselves, we're making sure we're making the good plays, the right plays. Um, you know, I think we've really, you know, done a good job of slowing down uh, track transitions and, you know, odd man rushes against us. And, um, you know, I think as a five-man unit out there, we, when we break up the puck very well, we're a dangerous team from that neutral zone and we big plays when uh, we need to. Not the first time, but just what's it like playing in this in this arena? Just something a little different. Yeah, I mean, it feels like you're back playing in junior <laughs> hockey, so um, it is what it is. And, you know, it's... Um, we always know we get a great crowd and great fan base here in Arizona. Obviously, you know, Austin and now Nisey being here, a lot of loved ones, a lot of families. So it's always a sold up um, barn when we come here and, you know, the crowd's always into it. So it's fun. What's this night mean to you? Yeah, it's great. I mean, it's, uh, you know, a small step in you know, a long season, but obviously coming, playing at home, uh, you know, playing against a team that's really had our number over the last couple of seasons. And, um, you know, it was, uh, just a good win, good good effort throughout the lineup. Um, everybody contributing and just really solid efforts all around. So, um, you know, we'll take the two points and you know, obviously we're right back at it tomorrow. You talked a little. Oh, I'm sorry, Mitch was saying he was looking for you maybe too much the first few shifts. Could you sense he was uh, trying to set you up there? Yeah, I mean, I think in early on, like we had good legs going and uh, obviously a couple of power plays and you know being able to kind of snap it around, but. Um, you know, he sees the ice so well. I just try to get open when he's got the puck, and I know uh, he's got a great sense of where I am out on the ice and uh, vice versa. So, um, you know, we just try to work off the puck for each other and create that offense. Can you talk a little about the chemistry you and Mitch have had all these years and where it's going and, and just how it exists? Like yeah, I mean, I, I think it, it really starts with our relationship off the ice and, um, you know, just carries over uh, onto the ice. And like I said the other day, I, I think, you know, for each other, we just try to push uh, ourselves, push each other to be uh, the best that we can be individually and the best, uh, you know, teammates we can be, um, do whatever it takes to, to help the team win, to, you know, get momentum, to, you know, just step by step, game by game, get better and better. So, um, you know, I think that's, that's the role I think we've kind of taken on as, um, you know, we've, gone through this before and you know in our eighth season and um, you know all being here in Toronto I think uh, we expect a lot out of each other and we just try to push each other as much as possible. And this role that you guys are on right now how does that feel and, and what are you guys doing so well that you got to keep going? Just working I think just working competing um, and working off the puck uh, taking care of our own end and um, you know we're in the neutral zone offensive zone I think you know just let the instincts take over and work off the puck for each other and just try to create as much as possible. What was this atmosphere like uh, to play in? This is obviously a unique barn. Yeah, it's very unique. Um, I mean, it's no secret we travel pretty well with fans and stuff, but obviously uh, 
a lot of blue and, and white in the in the uh, in the stands tonight. So you know, it's always fun. Um, you know, for for it being a college hockey rink and you know not the same as an NHL size rink. I mean, it's uh, it's a great atmosphere and uh, makes for a pretty fun uh, fun game. So. What do you think you'll remember doing one more night like tonight with all your family? I think just having them here, just being able to experience it uh, and do all this uh, with them in the stands. William, how did the team get the job done here tonight? How? Yeah. Or what was the key in your mind? Yeah, I just think, I mean, came out a lot of power plays, started the first period pretty good. Then, uh, I mean, they came back a little bit, but then we uh, fought it off and took over in the third. What was it like to see Austin get 50 and then another one in his hometown here? Yeah. Is that? Sorry, uh, obviously uh, crazy. Uh, I mean, very fun for him and family and friends probably that he had here. So uh, special, special moment. I mean, it's just incredible. At what point coming out of the box are you thinking you could get a breakaway, get a scoring opportunity like that? I'm not going to lie. I was thinking when I sat in the box before the third period started, thinking I might get a breakaway. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> I don't know. It just happened. So. We'll take it. Did you manifested that? I don't know. I just sat there and I was like feeling a breakaway coming. So I don't know. Well, it's, yeah. It is what it is. Uh, Mitch sets you up. He's setting everyone up. I think yeah. it's like five straight multi-assist games. What's standing out about his game right now? Yeah, I mean, he's just making plays all over the ice. Uh, I mean, before the pass before uh, Maddie's second goal is obviously incredible. Um, but yeah, he's been, he's been playing on real. Felt like you were feisty tonight. Like, uh, what was the battle like with Jersey? Just how would you sum up your game? Yeah, I don't know. It is fun. Yeah. What was it like to see Burton, Tommy get in there after uh, Sean Putt pushed you there? They were very quick. Yeah, I mean, they always. I mean, we, they stick up for me, and I'll stick up for them in, in situations like that. So, uh, Tom said he's he's covered in right after me. So, <laughs> I love it. What do you like the most about the, how the team has played during this five-game win streak? Yeah, I think we're just establishing our game. I mean, getting better and better. I mean, getting a feel for, for what we need to do to win. And I think, um, yeah, coming off from struggling a little bit to uh, winning some games is good. Yeah, what do you think of how, Tim how, how Timothy is kind of elevated when morgan has been out of the lineup? Yeah, he's been he's been unreal out there. I mean, obviously on the power play, uh, making great plays and 5-on-5 PK. So, I mean, he's been doing a great job. Timothy, what was the key to the win tonight? Uh, yeah, obviously got off uh, got off to a pretty good start there in the first, and um, trying to build build off of that. Uh, obviously, they scored two in the second there, but uh, uh, we stayed with it and uh, eventually pulled away. So um, solid game. How much is getting some more opportunity on the power play contributed to your confidence over the last? Yeah, no, it's been good. Uh, it's easy job, just give it to, to Maddie and he'll score. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, it's been uh, it's been great. Uh, I feel like my confidence has been uh, getting better each game here, so uh, it's been feeling good. What uh, was it like to see Austin get 50 in, in his hometown? Yeah, awesome. Uh, <laughs> kind of expected him to score, uh, score his 50 today, but the way he's been scoring this season. So, uh, you know, good for him. Probably had a lot of family in the instance too, so, uh, you know, huge moment for him. And Mitch? five straight multi-assist games like what, what stands out about how he's playing right now yeah he's feeling it uh just buzzing around making uh, making good plays uh had a pretty nice uh play to to broke sir before uh from out school score his second so uh it's fun to see what do you think it's turned for you in terms of your confidence is it just the the increased assignment uh skating with tj like what do you think has led to the um i don't know i think uh it's a combination of you know playing a little bit more and uh, I thought even before I played more minutes I kind of started to feel fill my game again uh, but I was just trying to so trying to build off every game and uh, as I said it's been uh, it's been feeling pretty good as well what's the best part of the way the team's been playing during this this win streak as a whole uh, the points uh, we need the points it's it's close in the standing so we need every points we can get so uh, you know, it's been uh, it's been pretty good. What was it like to play in this this building? It's obviously a bit of a unique experience in the NHL. I like it. Yeah. It's pretty fun. Uh, you know, it kind of reminds you of going back to junior a little bit. Uh, smaller, smaller arena, but uh, uh, it's pretty. Uh, I don't know. I think it's pretty fun. Then what stood out about how your your team navigated this one tonight? Um. 
obviously get get going well early in the game, take control, you know, whether it's a huge goal from McMahon to get us going and then our power play taking advantage of their opportunities. You know, and then gets gets a little hairy there in the second period, right? I think they, they get two. But I did like how we managed it. Um, don't like obviously they get the third goal there at the end of the second period, but uh, uh, I thought by and large we managed it well from <clears throat> basically from the point of, of the of the time they scored the second goal. I thought we did a pretty good job of it. It was a really good third period, really clean third period. Obviously Willie scoring coming out of the box helped a great deal, but but uh, I thought the guys managed the third period very well. Mitch and Mitch and Austin, you, you almost have to go back to. Daryl Sittler and Landon McDonald for a pair that do so much for the team and, and combine so much. What are your thoughts on the way they've grown together and just continue to do what they do? Yeah, I just don't know if there's much more that I could say. I mean, I've, I've year over year, uh, um, I've answered this very same question. It seems they're they're two elite players that have great chemistry. Their games complement each other very well. Obviously, Austin's been doing tremendous things, but uh, Mitch has been tremendous as well. And uh, I don't think that's an act by accident that uh, you know Austin's um, had the type of push he's had here. Um, when you combine the way Austin's playing with Mitch, that's what you get. Uh, so yeah, both those guys do so many things for our team that don't show up on the score sheet, but obviously they're they're doing tremendous things uh, offensively. How much do you think uh, some increased power play opportunities helped Lill Lilligren find his game a little bit, get a bit more confidence? Uh, it's, uh, I don't know. It's hard to say. But it's hard to say whether it's a power play directly or is it playing with TJ Brody or is it, you know, is it playing different spots that way? Is it just playing more in general and thinking less? It's hard to really, you know, put a, put a finger on it, but he certainly has has played well um, and uh, we do see his confidence growing and uh, not just him but through the lineup uh, you know guys that have played more have played well and done a good job to, to help stabilize the group. It uh, stood out about Nylander's night it felt like you know Jersey's trying to get under his skin there and he responds with a big goal obviously in the third. Yeah, it was, it was competitive. Uh, good, good to see uh, Willie push back a little bit there on stand his ground. Um, Huge moment, huge goal for us. It's interesting how it works out. He kind of goes into the box because he was looking for a breakaway when we were shorthanded and and uh, ends up getting the breakaway coming out. Uh, so gets the goal back uh, that we gave up at the end of the second period. So that was a big moment in the game uh, for us, for sure. Obviously, look at the five-game win streak. What do you think you guys are doing well these last five games? I just think we were managing the games uh, far better. I think we're making far less mistakes. Um, you know, I think the group has really rallied here, you know, um, since, since Morgan's left the lineup in particular. And, and it was obviously not Morgan leaving the lineup so much as that incident and how it all played out. And, and uh, Morgan, in essence, you know, uh, defending the pride of the group and, and the pride of the logo and all those kind of things. And, um, I mean, this team means so much to Morgan Riley. And, and in that moment, he shows you. Uh, how much he cares about our team and what we're doing. Uh, so we, we didn't love the fact that he um, was going to get held accountable to it. Um, not not nothing to do with the suspension or anything like that, but just you know uh, he means so much to our team. He was a long-standing leaf and all those kind of things you could see in that moment. So if anything, I thought it was a real wake-up call for our team to to get real serious about winning and being taking care of games and rallying around the moment and the guys to me have uh, very much done that and uh, you know it's a good chance for us to continue to build upon here now and welcoming Morgan back.